Here's the latest and what parents should be looking out for. Doctors and hospitals are continuing to see kids with respiratory syncytial virus or RSV and other serious respiratory illnesses. The number of viral of patients that with viral infections is probably about the same. Um, however, we're able to see them in a very timely manner now. In the past five days, Hawaii Pacific Health says about 5% of the children evaluated at Kapi'olani's ER were admitted for respiratory illness or cold-like symptoms. According to Patel, many with RSV were very young. A lot of infants and toddlers, a few older children as well. Less than two weeks ago, Kapiolani reported an uptick in respiratory infection that coincided with the start of the school year. According to health officials, infections of this kind usually increase during winter. Patel says they are prepared if cases spike in the coming months. We've enhanced our fast track process. We've also um, enhanced the services that we can provide in after hours clinic by adding staff. According to the CDC, symptoms of RSV resemble a cold, runny nose, decrease in appetite, coughing, sneezing, fever and wheezing. Severe infections can develop into pneumonia or bronchitis. Patel says parents should keep an eye on their children and talk to their pediatrician if they have any concerns. So parents know their children the best, right? They know what their usual activity level is, which means like how playful they usually are, how much they usually eat and drink, um, how their breathing normally is. RSV spreads through close contact when a sick person sneezes or coughs and by sharing items with someone who's infected. The best way to prevent it is by washing your hands thoroughly, avoiding close contact like kissing, hugging or sharing drinks or food with someone who's sick and by disinfecting high touch surfaces and toys. For more information on RSV, log on to KHON2.com or scan this QR code on your screen.